morning, everybody. This is my first visit to Bihar, actually. But I've always wanted to go to Bihar since I first visited India over six years ago, when I was only seven years old, in 2020. Um, Bihar is the land of so many great people. And, of course, it's the land where Buddhism originated, the land of Aryapata, and the land of the first ever built university, Nalanda University. Now, I would really like to inspire you all to continue the great tradition of Nalanda University, which makes Bihar one of the most historic places in the entire world. Nalanda University is the first university that we still have records of today. It was destroyed in 1400 after countless invasions and destruction, but it was founded all the way back in 427 AD. That's 1600 years ago, and it's also 500 years before the next university we know of, Oxford University, appeared. So, Nalanda University is the symbolization of Bihar's very long tradition of learning in math, science, literature, art, religion, and so many other areas. Now, I would also like to advise that uh, Nalanda's destruction symbolizes a totally different side of the world. It symbolizes prejudice, as Nalanda University was destroyed mainly because it was a center of Buddhist learning and anti-Buddhist invaders destroyed it because of the prejudice against religions that were not their own. And anti-education. They destroyed it because they didn't see education as something valuable. I would like to instill in you that education is the number one power beyond anything else. A lot of people ask, what superpower would you like to have? Invisibility, stopping time, super speed? But the number one superpower in reality that you have access to today, and which is better than every other one that's listed in those questions, is learning and education. With education and passion, you can walk anywhere, just like the ancient mathematicians Aryapata and Brahmagupta, who taught at Nalanda University themselves it was 1,500 years ago. So I'm really excited to see where you all grow up and become, and maybe some of you will in fact follow in the footsteps of Aryapata and Brahmagupta and become the next remembered Indian mathematicians that many people idolize for hundreds of years to come. Thank you. Thanks a lot.